Hello, and welcome to this week's Penn Energy News Update. On behalf of our generous sponsor, Deloitte Center for Energy Solutions, who made this broadcast possible, I'm Hilton Price. The Justice Department has filed criminal charges against a former BP engineer for the April 2010 Deepwater Horizon disaster. Kurt Mix of Texas has been arrested on two counts of obstruction of justice. The Justice Department has accused Mix of deleting hundreds of text messages with a BP supervisor. The messages allegedly detail the failures of the October 2010 efforts to cap the leaking oil well. BP has released a statement saying it is cooperating with the department and not commenting on the case. Iraq has opened its second offshore export facility as it prepares for a production increase. The new export facility opened April 20th and is one of a planned four new transportation terminals along the country's southeast coast. Eventually, each platform will be capable of shipping as much as 850,000 barrels per day. The country's southern oil fields are expected to increase production by around 600,000 barrels per day over the course of the year. The surge in natural gas production in the U.S. has led to a renaissance for the chemical refining industry in Texas, according to the Houston Chronicle. With natural gas plummeting to below $2 per million British thermal units, a growing number of energy companies have decided to reinvest in the Houston area and the Gulf Coast. Dow Chemical Company has announced plans to construct a new natural gas refining plant. Royal Dutch Shell, Chevron, ConocoPhillips, Formosa Plastics, and others have been reported to be planning to spend billions in the region. Kinder Morgan Energy Partners has announced a binding open season to solicit market interest for its Cochin Reversal project. The project would enable the company to offer a new service to move light condensate from Kankakee County, Illinois to existing terminal facilities near Fort Saskatchewan, Alberta, Canada. The project involves Kinder Morgan modifying the western leg of its Cochin pipeline to connect to the Explorer Pipeline Company in Kankakee County and to reverse the product flow to move the condensate northwest to Fort Saskatchewan. Subject to shipper support, timely regulatory approvals, and necessary capital improvements, light condensate shipments could begin on July 1st of 2014. Aztec Oil & Gas has announced it has signed a contract for the drilling of more than 100 additional wells with working interest partner, Texas Secondary Oil Company. The wells will be located in Medina County, Texas, where the company has had good success. Aztec currently has two rigs drilling full-time in the county and has plans to start a third. Thank you for joining us this week. For these stories and more, go to penenergy.com.